Good morning. Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marilyn Acosta. Thank you for joining me um, on this sixth day of the 40 day fast. It's almost been a week and I can't believe it. Time just goes by so quickly. You'll notice as you're doing the fast and as you get into it more and more seeking God and seeking his face and, and just studying the word you really begin to enjoy that time with the father and it's memorable it's so it's so i don't know it's just you're just drawing near you're chasing after the father you're seeking his face he's revealing himself in new ways and it's just i don't know it's fascinating um i encourage you to write you know Write your dreams down that you have during the 40-day fast. If the Lord gives you visions, write them down. Everything he speaks to your heart during your quiet time with him, take notes because some of the things you'll forget if you don't write it down. And it's always a beautiful thing to go back and look over your fast to see what the Lord reveals to you in the secret place. Um, this morning... I was led to Ezekiel and it talks about the new temple and that chapter always is I don't know fascinating because Ezekiel has a vision of the temple and what it looks like where the Lord dwells in heaven and you know when Moses created the temple and David created the temple on earth they were all um, copies of what the real thing might look like in heaven i mean of course it's not as fabulous as the one in heaven but they're replicas and so when i always go when i see that chapter and, and it talks about the lion on the door and the um palm trees and the leaves that lead to the most holy of the holies place where the lord dwells it's fascinating because i love palm trees and you'll notice that god gives you little clues and things that he wants you to study so that you learn more about him and so now i am just really interested about the palms and and the leaves that are on the doors of the temple leading to the most holy of holies that chapter is a deep deep chapter and it's so i mean it really takes the lord to reveal to you what all of the meanings are in there i'm still learning it is quite fascinating so i'll be studying that that chapter but we know that our bodies also are the temple of the living god and that we are replicas of our father we are created in his image and it's just so important that we get to know who our father is so we build a relationship with him you know and that's why i say so many times people are always asking asking can i have this can i have that are they they're praising and worshiping but yesterday the lord led me to i said father i really want to just know what makes you happy what what do you enjoy doing and you all want to know what the father told me creating and i thought god that that yeah i get that because you created the world you created us and when you look at the world and all of the unique things that he made i said yes father and i just began to ask him things about like what makes him sad what makes him joyous you know sometimes we we get caught up in that he's just this big god and he's our provider and he's all of those things but he was created in our, our image and he has emotions and he has feelings and you know i just i want to lead you to learn how to minister to the lord yeah before we can minister to people before we can go, go and share the gospel you know, we want to know and have a relationship with him. We want to be able to tell people about our God in intimate ways. And so in order for us to do that, we got to know him in deeper ways. What makes you smile? What makes you happy? What makes you angry? What makes you sad? And he will reveal himself in many ways. And I learned so much about the Father yesterday in my secret time, in my prayer time, and in just even my busy time you know <laughs> when i'm with my students and i'm you know teaching and giving assignments and they're working that's my time to ask god questions in my head so maybe that'll encourage someone to do the same and watch he'll answer you just like i was so shocked but when he told me he liked to create it was like duh <laughs> 
right? One more when I ask him, you know, what makes you sad? And it's the fact that his children don't know him, that they only know him in a very <sighs> minute way, you know, as a provider, as this or that, but they really don't know him. And he wants his children, children to really have an understanding of who he is. And that, you know, the lost, the lost, his children who have gone astray, who he has, you know, gave warning after warning, who he has, you know, extended the olive branch to, and they just continue to chase after false gods. Those things break the father's heart. So it's just fascinating getting to know him. There's so much to know about our father. There's so much to know about his creations. There's so much to know about the kingdom that, you know, you just figure you don't have time to waste, you know, messing around with trivial things of the world, you know. Use your time wisely. Make the most of each day, you know, instead of watching Netflix, instead of, you know, uh, reading books that don't glorify God. You know, I know you can have time to find, to to read things that you're interested in, but just make time to learn about God. Let's make time to glorify him. Let's make time to truly honor and seek after him. So this Friday, that's my prayer for you, that you would get along and that you would just spend time with, with God and let him nourish your heart and your mind and your spirit. So that's all I have for you today. I pray that it blesses you. You all take care. Bye.